Now, I know you want to jump right in and start participating in and hosting meetings on the Zoom Meetings platform, but there are a few settings that we need to take a look at before doing so, and that's what we will be doing in this lesson. But before we do, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and smash that notification bell to get notified every time a new video drops. After that, head over to www.visionoptional.com and enter your email address to get notified when the website launches. And the first 100 people to do so will receive a free audiobook on how to use the Zoom platform non-visually. Let's get to it. A metallic blue globe is seen spinning in the center of the screen on a dark blue background. The words vision optional slide in each side. Below, braille letters appear one by one, spelling out vision optional. Exploring the Zoom meeting settings. In this lesson, we're going to briefly look at three different tabs in the Zoom meeting settings, and we'll go into more detail on the settings in our course on the Zoom meetings platform and how to use it non-visually. So I already have the Zoom meetings client open. If you don't, please do so now. Focus is immediately on the settings button because that's where I left off in the last lesson. If your focus is not there, please tab until you hear Joel speak the following. Setting button. To activate, press spacebar. I'm going to hit spacebar now. Space. Settings. Now I am in the settings area and I'm going to tab to reach the first tab in the list. General. Press enter. General. Press enter. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Now that I selected general, I'm going to tab across to the different features in general. And again, we will look at these features in more detail in our future course on the Zoom Meetings platform. But for now, we're just going to tap through and look at just a few. Start Zoom when I start Windows checkbox not checked. This will pin the Zoom Meetings client to your taskbar and it will load with the rest of your apps when you turn on your machine. When closed, minimize window to the notification area instead of the taskbar checkbox checked. This places Zoom in the notification area at the bottom right portion of your screen. Use dual monitors checkbox not checked. We don't need this option. I'm going to tab through and JAWS may speak some and I may do commentary on some. Enter full screen automatically when starting or joining a meeting checkbox checked. I just check this box because I think it's aesthetically pleasing for those who do have vision and are able to see my screen. Automatically copy invitation URL once the meeting starts checkbox checked. This option is great for if you plan on sending out um, more emails as you are attending or hosting a meeting to market the event you are participating in. Ask me to confirm when I leave a meeting checkbox not checked. I want to check this box. Space checked. Show my connected time checkbox not checked. Remind me five minutes before my upcoming meetings combo box. Stop my video and audio when my display is off or screen saver begins checkbox not checked. Reaction skin tone medium radio button checked. View more settings open in your default browser link. General, press enter. Now we are back in the tabs section of the settings. We are still under the general tab so we're going to press the down arrow one time to reach the video tab. Video, press enter. I'm going to hit enter to select video. Enter. And now I'm going to tab across and through all of the features under the video tab. Rotate 90 degrees button. Now many of these features are more for people who have low vision or are fully sighted. If you are using the Zoom platform without vision, you won't need many of these items. and. Our focus is on using the platform non-visually at the moment, so we're going to skip many of these. 16, 9 left, paren widescreen right, paren radio button checked. Enable HD checkbox not checked. Mirror my video checkbox checked. Touch up my appearance checkbox not checked. Always display participant names on their video checkbox checked. Turn off my video when joining meeting checkbox checked. Now this is the most important feature in the video tab. And that's because many of us are not always aware of our surroundings and we like to 
be comfortable when we're at the computer or working for home. So I suggest that you check this box to be safe and this means that your video will not be on when you enter a meeting. I will show you how to toggle this feature on and off while you are in a meeting in a later lesson. Always show video preview dialog when joining a video meeting checkbox checked. Hide non-video participants checkbox not checked. Spotlight my video when I speak checkbox not checked. I want to check this box. Space checked. Display up to 49 participants per screen in gallery view checkbox not checked. Advanced button. Video. Press enter. We're going to tab down one more area, arrow to the audio tab. Audio. Press enter. We're going to select it. Enter. And tab across. Test speaker button. This is the test speaker button and we always want to do this to make sure that our speaker is working. So I'm going to hit the space bar and listen for the tone. Space. Stop button. Space. Test speaker button. I press the space bar again to stop the tones. So it sounds like my speakers are working. Let's tag across. Current speakers same as system. Combo box. Settings general. If you cannot hear the test sound, select a different speaker. Video speaker test speaker same as system audio output level colon share screen volume colon chat microphone test mic microphone left paren ATRU. I press the control key to stop the jaws speech and you I suggest that you select the same as system box especially if you don't really know the name <clears throat> the name of your speakers and you don't um, have a lot of knowledge on speakers sometimes there are multiple speakers connected to the computer or available for use so if you click same as system this ensures that your speakers are going to be the same as the primary speakers being used currently on your machine. Speaker output level colon 0%. Speaker volume colon left right slider 56%. Test mic button. Now we're going to test the mic. Space. Recording button. This is just a test to make sure that the ATR2100 microphone is working. Playing button. This is just a test to make sure that the ATR2100 microphone is working. Test mic button. Sounds good. Let's keep going. Microphone colon. Combo box. Left paren ATR USB microphone right paren. Microphone input level colon. Zero percent. Microphone volume colon left right slider unavailable. Ninety nine percent. Okay. It said left right slider unavailable. 99%. Why is that unavailable? We'll see in the next feature. Automatically adjust volume checkbox checked. Automatically adjust volume. This is good for when you want Zoom to automatically adjust the volume of your speaker. Maybe you go in and out. Maybe you get close to your microphone or too far away. It will adjust the volume to make sure that that audio is not distorting. If you don't want this on, you will uncheck this box and you will Shift tab back to the left right slider and adjust it to the level that you prefer. Use separate audio device to play ringtone simultaneously checkbox not checked. Automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting checkbox checked. Mute my microphone when joining a meeting checkbox checked. Now you want to automatically join your audio to a meeting if you plan on talking at all in the meeting. You also, I suggest, want to check the box to put your microphone on mute as you join a meeting too, similar to the video option we just showed you. And what that does is is that protect protects you from coming into a meeting and interrupting it with the background noise or whatever is going on in your environment. And again, I will show you how to toggle this feature on and off while in a meeting in a later lesson. Press and hold space key to temporarily unmute yourself checkbox checked. This is a beautiful option. This is similar to a walkie talkie in the sense that if you are muted and you hold down the space bar, as long as you're holding down the space bar, you are able to communicate with the participants in the meeting. And once you release the space bar, you are again put on mute. Sync buttons on headset checkbox check. Advanced button. Audio. Press enter. Let's move down this list a little more and see what else is here. Share screen. Press enter. 
share screen that's typically for hosts you can share what you're doing if you're giving a presentation or you're giving a tech demo or something you would share the screen with the participants in the meeting and they would be able to see and hear what you are doing but we're not going to go into these tabs right now we're going to save that for the full course on the draws and the zoom chat press enter chat same thing you can manage um well not the same thing you can manage participants you have blocked how you are notified when you receive a new notification and also how your chat messages are arranged virtual background press enter virtual background is a cool feature too because you don't need a green screen to change the background if you are on video and your face is being shown or a portion of your upper body you can change the background to make it more aesthetically pleasing to maybe an office setting a beach setting a city setting or whatever recording press enter the recording tab allows you to go in and choose where your recordings will be stored profile press enter in the profile tab you can change your picture you can upgrade your account um, there's several different things you can do in the profile so it's all obviously geared towards customizing your profile to your liking statistics press enter keyboard shortcuts press enter keyboard shortcuts are great because we are screen reader users and that means that everything that we do on the computer we do from the keyboard so you will go in here to find out all of the different shortcuts and hotkeys that are available in the zoom app accessibility press enter in the accessibility tab there's options for captioning and, and so on again we will look at this in more detail in a future course and that was a brief look at the settings area in the zoom meetings client next you guessed it we're going to start learning how to host and participate in the meetings stay tuned a page appears subscribe and follow us on facebook anchor fm and twitter at vision optional vision optional